Now, 4 News continues with Don Shelby, Colleen Needles, Ralph John Fritz, and meteorologist Matt Balo. This is 4 News. Because uh, WCCO has worked out a deal where everybody watching tonight gets, what was it, 25 bucks? $25. There's lunch. Think about it. Free lunch. Oh, that's a dinner, too. Sh Channel 4 buying you lunch. Come on. <laughs> Sorry. No free money, no free lunch. But that's just Dave saying anything to make you laugh. In about 20 minutes from now, uh, Minnesota takes center stage on The Late Show with David Letterman. What goes on in front of and behind the camera? Kevin Berger has tonight's dimension. Thanks again. You guys have a great time while you're here, all right? 460 Minnesota rear ends filled the 460 seats of the Ed Sullivan Theater, where everyone in the audience is a winner. They won a radio station contest or sent in a lucky postcard. We sent in 100 cards, and we absolutely knew we were going to win. We thought there was and like 5,000 people, and then we found out there's 50,000 50, people entering, and we just can't believe it. It's so great. It's great. So bring it in, boys. It's the beautiful skyline of the city of... Tonight, viewers across the country will watch our hometown shine in the Late Show Spotlight. There you go. Boy, that's a good-looking town. The crowd shook off the coolness Minnesotans are famous for. This is a kick. This is great. This you are pumped. You bet. <laughs> but our cool weather played straight man, from in-theater flakes to repeated punchlines. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for that uh, wonderful ovation that lasted, lasted about as long as summer in Minnesota. Flying in an audience is a rating stunt, to be sure. Letterman told me today it's paid off, providing not just a ratings boost, but an energy boost as well. They seem very smart, very, very responsive, uh, very, very enthusiastic. All right, ladies and gentlemen. The and most now, enthusiastic now moment came when... Do me a favor, please welcome Kirby Puckett. Kirby, come on out. Old number 34 strolled out onto the storied stage where the Beatles and Elvis once made the crowd scream. People in the audience will never forget it. When Kirby came out to read the top ten, the, the crowd just went crazy and gave him an ovation that was, was touching, I think, even to the audience. It really was a special moment. A special moment, too, for the show host. I found it, uh, you know, moving. I was very, uh, very impressed by that because uh, mostly in, in show business, nothing really is, is real. You know? Another well-known Minnesotan also impressed Dave. Don Shelby at a press conference. Now, whenever Donna. he's at a press conference, Don, I'll answer your question about snow removal, but first let me ask you a question. How's Carlos? Yeah. Was... We don't want to spoil the fun. You have to watch to get that Carlos gag. Here's a reasonable-looking human with a responsible position saying these idiotic, insane, <laughs> deeply disturbed things with all confidence that everything was fine. And it just made me howl. Pioneer Press media critic Brian Lambert was critical. I'm sorry, Don. <laughs> Your career has changed forever. <laughs> For the better? Forever. Yeah, well, for the better, we'll be remain to be seen. Yeah. On this night, the mini apple will take center stage in the big apple. From ear flap hats to Mary Tyler Moore's hat, from an honored band to her honor the mayor. Tonight, we get to see ourselves as the late show sees us. All this and canned hams, too. For Dimension, I'm Kevin Berger in New York City. What? <laughs> Anything you'd like to uh, say about yourself and your newfound career? Only if, if you watch tonight, and I would like you to watch tonight, that it's comedy, okay? It's just a joke. <laughs> it's, and it may it's, go on. It's just a gag. <laughs> well, who knows? No, that, that in... You got terrific <laughs> reviews. Well, <laughs> it was good, good writing. Good writing. All right, well, well you'll just have to stay tuned and see what we're talking about. Yeah. Now, here's a preview of what you're going to see.